to do a video on one makeup tutorial, one makeup brand tutorial. So I'm going to be doing um, Wet n Wild. So if you guys want to see how I get this full face of Wet n Wild products, then just keep on watching. And I'm in front of my window, so I have natural light. So if you see any clouds moving, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to keep watching, then stay tuned in. Let's just get ready. Okay, so my mirror here. So I need to see. Okay, so I did my brows off camera, and I didn't have a Wet n Wild product for brows, so I used my NYX. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That's the only thing that I'm using that is not Wet n Wild today. So let's begin with the. Okay, so I did my brows, and now let's just begin with the eyes. Oh, I forgot my. Start with eyes. So I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Rose in the Air makeup palette, which I really like. I think it's really pretty. Got pretty colors. So let's see what we can come up with using these right here. So okay, first I'm going to use my Wet n Wild concealer just to kind of prep my lid. I did my skincare this morning, so. Just a little bit. I don't want to go. I don't want this video to be crazy and long. I've been wanting to do this video for so long. I have so many other ones that I want to do on just one makeup brand. Maybe next I'll do Milani or Tarte or something like that. So yeah, I think these videos are so cool. Because you guys already know I love wooden well. So I'm just going to grab my finger and just blend this all in. Like so, I'm nice and flawless. I like blending with my finger and notice to it because it's really nice and warms up the product. And the product can kind of like distribute through the eye a little bit better. Like so, there you go. Just using this mirror. Love it. My skin has been so amazing to eat, guys. Like, oh my god, it's been so bomb. I have a little bit red cheeks, but I always have red cheeks. I can't change that. But yeah, so prep that. Let me just put a little bit of I have this wet and wild for wet and wild base banana. I hope it's not too dark right now. That's the only powder that I have right now. Wet and wild, so. And I'm going to take this little wet and wild fluffy brush. I'm just going to take a little bit because I want to just. Yeah, just a little bit. Too fond of it, but okay. We got to work what we got to work with. So first I'm going to go in with, I'm trying to see first like what I want to do. Ugh, I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this one, this one, and then this one on the top. So yeah, let's just see what we come up with guys. I'm gonna take this wet and wild eyeshadow brush. First, let's do this one so we could do a all over the all over the lid color. I'm just gonna use like a nice little light hand. I don't want it to be too crazy. Let's see what we can come up with today. Then we're gonna go back with it. not this one. We're gonna go back with this one that is more like the one that we just have, but it's a little bit more fluffy. And I'm gonna go in with that. Uh, yeah, like a burnt orange, just burnt kind of orange color. Oof. So yeah, and 
I'm just going to start it right here. So my mirror is right here, guys. So. And literally, lately, it's been raining, so it's like, you have, I haven't been inspired to make, up, make videos or anything because literally, it's raining outside. It's be raining and cloudy today. It's a little bit sunny. So let me just take advantage and use my natural lighting because sometimes it's exhausting to put lights up. And I'm just like, you know. I love these wet and wet brushes. They really blend really smoothly too. Okay, so we got the this color right there. And let's just blend. Try to grab your brush lightly in the side so then it can blend in nicely. Yeah, because I didn't think a lot about a lot of videos that I want to do. So, I love these shadows. These shadows are so pretty. Like, so easy to blend with. Like, I don't have to, like, struggle to blend them. That's why I wanted to do my first, um... Want to make a brand wet and wild because it's my all time favorite. Like, I can't. Okay, so here we go. We got that base. Then we're going to go in with. Mm, that color. And then we're going to go with the one that was next to it. It's like more like a little red or more. And I'm just going to use this one, but like in the outer corner, the outer corner be here, and then bring it in a little bit. Just a little bit. Just bring it. Oh my God, I hope the sun is not moving. And this is looking, guys, it's looking good. So, so blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. because I want it to be like right here in the outer corner but blend it in too so yeah guys like I was saying in Florida it's been sucky these days it's been raining and gloomy and cloudy and it's just been horrible so today's a little bit pretty nice out it was raining earlier this morning but and then I'm going to go back with that way and I'm just going to blend these all in and you want everything to look nice and seamless. You don't want no harsh lines. You don't want everything to look nice. Okay. Then we are going to same concealer that we had before. I'm going to put a little bit in the middle of my lid. I wish I had a wet and well flat brush, but I really don't. So we gotta work with what we got, guys. Okay. It's just right here. And then blend, blend, blend. you can use literally the tip of the concealer and carve this out and just use your finger and blend everything in see perfect and go back with that color and just make sure that everything is nice and blended okay. then we're going to go in with this color right here. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. And we could just use our finger, we don't have to.
don't worry because I'm going to put another color over this to kind of lighten that up, brighten it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to take this shimmer one and I'm going to put it right in the middle. Same thing with your finger. And there you go. Love it. See guys, I love it coming out so nice. Okay, we will go on to the bottom of the lower lashes later on and then just make sure everything is blended in because you don't want no separation here. Okay, blend it in. Then we're going to go in with that brown shade right here and just darken the darken this outer corner right here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then blend. Perfect. Okay, now the rest of the face. So today I'm going to use my Wet and Well Hydrating Hydrating Balm Stick, which I love. I love this stuff. Smells nice and clean, so let's do that. Even though I already have enough of hydrating to do my skincare this morning, but that's okay. You always want your skin hydrated. Always. Okay. And rub that in. Feels so hydrating, guys. And like I also like my e.l.f. one too. So my purple and hydrate one. That one is my one bomb. But this one is I really haven't used this one that much yet. So this one's pretty good. And then I'm gonna use my wet, I mean my wet and well matte face primer matte. So let's see. Just put just a little bit on. So for foundation today, I am going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. Love, love this foundation. I haven't used it in a minute, but I really like it. It's a luminous, lightweight, buildable, and hydrating formula. And it is cruelty-free, paraben-free, all that good stuff. And it's in the color Natural Beige Medium Neutral. And it has contains natural coconut, natural coconut so. Can't wait to use this one. And I like the little sponge it comes in too. Like I love this little sponge. So if you don't have a beauty blender or you don't have the wet and wild sponge, you can absolutely use this one. So I then will blend this in here. And I will start. And like, because you could build it up. You could definitely build it up if you want. You don't have to. But. Like, I just. I mean, I feel like I find it a little bit hard sometimes to take the product out. sponge see like it's like oh, so I like it love it and the sponge helps you get like all the little crevices that you need to get mm -hmm. 
So just for the video, I'm going to show you with, with the wet and wild brush. Okay, and then, see? The same thing. I'm not really a fan of like foundation brushes like this, but for the sake of the video, that's what we're going to do. And I, this foundation is like really lightweight and you could build it up though. Like, you know, you can make it more buildable if you want. And I just love it. Bring it down to your neck. Look at that. It's just so nice. It's like really lightweight in my skin. I feel like I really don't have anything. Love it. So let's go back with the concealer. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Concealer in Light Ivory. Once again, I love my concealers. My Wet n Wild Concealers. They're bomb. Diggity bomb diggity. Okay, so just bring it to the corner where you see dark and shadows. Don't go crazy now. Okay. I'm just gonna take that foundation brush and just blend that. And blending it nicely. Sorry guys if you hear noise, but it's like people are working on that townhouse next door, so it's actually blending really nicely. And make sure to that 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 never move the product around. You wanna keep the product in place. I don't know about that wet and wild color guys, the loose powder. I don't think it's gonna be I'll just work with it. We'll just work with it. Like so far, I love it. I love. It. And I love the wooden wire concealer because, like, it never creases. Oh, I forgot that they have. This right here, so I'll use this instead of that setting powder. I don't want that powder. I think that powder is a little too much. So I'm going to take um, my Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Caramel Toffee. And I also have Dulce de Leche. So I'm going to use Dulce de Leche first just to get this light shade to kind of set underneath my, you know, my eyes. Go back again. Make sure everything is blended. And I'm just going to take this little brush right here and just grab a little bit and powder it down, powder it down. I feel like you could use, any, you could use brushes for multitasking different things, like doesn't necessarily have to be for whatever it says. Okay, so perfect. Love that. Cause see, I feel like this banana one, I think is a little dark. I mean, we could try it out, but I feel like it's just, I feel like it's dark. Yeah, see, it's like dark. I need to get like a lighter color. I think this one was a little too dark for me. But I put a little bit, I mean, it looks nice, decent. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with contour. I'm gonna go first with the Dulce de Leche. 
And I'm gonna go use this one right here. It's an angle one. And let's continue right here. The hardest parts of our tricks. Mm, I love that, guys. It's like a nice, crisp. Oh, my camera didn't turn off. I feel like it's off or something. I'm gonna be really mad. You know, do this all over again. Okay. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. And then I'm also going to grab the caramel toffee and I'm going to grab that color too as well. Ooh, that's see, that one gives me like a little bit more, more color. Look a little bit more tan. this together kind of a little okay then I'm gonna go in with my blush I'm gonna use this pearlescent pink blush I'm just gonna grab this brush right here and it's open that's for brought for Remember, go hand with blush because that's like the first thing that comes out of your face. Blush. But I wonder why. Beautiful, see? Bam. So then I'm going to go with highlights. And I'm trying to think like which highlight I want. I don't know if I want precious petals or blossom glow. I'm going to do blossom petals. Precious petals because it has like a little gold tint to it, and I we have kind of that going on right now, so I figured we'll do that instead. Okay, and for that I'm just gonna grab this little tiny wet and wild brush, and I'm just gonna highlight with that, and just highlight over here. And on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. And my cupid bow. Maybe chin, forehead, brow bone. Okie dokie. So now we have all that. And now we're going to go back to the lower lashes. And this, the brushes already have products. So try to go in already with the product that you have. And if you have to add more, then you just add more. Okay, going back to the mirror. I don't want it to look too harsh, the eyes, or no, no, I want it to be nice and like you see, like soft. And I want to see, um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Perfect, and we can go add more of that shade right here to the eye if you want there we go bomb bomb diggity inner corner let's highlight them inner corners and i'm just going to use this one that has no product on and i'm going to highlight it 
I'm finish highlight the brow bone. Just in case we didn't get anything there. Okay. So for the lips, I'm going to go in with one of my um Wet and Wild lippies that I've been loving so much from the Zodiac signs and things. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with this one, Aquarius, because it's light and you know I already have the eyes and I just want to go light on the lips. So I just want to keep the lips nice and hydrated. Then I'm going to go in with my Mega Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild. Oh God, let me set my face first. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Spray Water. I don't really like the spritzer, but hey, it's going to have to work. I feel like it's not even going to my face. Oof. See, it's like splatters everywhere. So you gotta be careful. See, I don't like that spritzer only because I like the way it makes my highlight. Mm. But like the spritz are like around here. It's like I like the one that's nice and like my Elf Shield one. Can't go wrong with that one. Okay, guys. So mascara. It's gonna put lashes, but I don't know. I should forget how good this mascara really is. It's like soft. And if you have some mascara that falls in your face, don't touch it, just let it dry. And then you'll take it off. Oh, relax. I just find like a nice small one. I'm not gonna mess up my makeup on the bottom. So let me see if I can go. So yeah. Go back and blend this out that I love. I love the way this came out. It's not pretty. Simple but glam. And three colors, three, four colors. Not bad. Here we go. Let me put a little bit of the areas color on there. I feel like it's a little too. I'll just outline a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, this is the finished look. You guys can absolutely wear false lashes if you want. I had them here. I was going to, but I'm like, uh, I decided not to. So I might just do another video later on. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. These are all the products that I use. I will keep them, put them down below in the description box. All my Wet and Wild products. I think that it came out amazing. Like the, you cannot go wrong with Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild is their products are amazing. They're cruelty free, lightweight. I mean, I love this foundation too. It's very lightweight. I love their bronzers. I love their highlights. The foundation. This one I love. I just have to get the, I think a lighter color. But I love all of Wet and Wilds. They're matte. They're hydrating pop. Everything. I love Wet and Wilds. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on one brand makeup. Wet and Wild. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. So yeah, like I always say, may God, God may God continue to bless you. And you guys have a great day.